Back in 2020, there was one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. It was a huge tourist attraction for the country of Ecuador, a huge tourism draw for them. It collapsed in 2020. It was a 400 meter waterfall. The first theory is that it was just natural due to undercutting of the river. So there's a sinkhole just upstream of that waterfall. The river diverted, went into that sinkhole, and over time it just collapsed the entire waterfall. There was some regressive erosion happening across the Rio Coco River that was working upstream that was threatening the roads, pipelines, and uh, even more people were living. Ecuador's hydroelectric dam provides them 30% of their power. So the Army Corps of Engineers is working on how do we stabilize that erosion and prevent it from actually hitting the dam. The river's changing so drastically that even a satellite image from a month ago isn't even relevant. Essentially, we began working on a plan to support Ecuador with mapping SUS drones to help them with the erosion problem. The team was asked to go down there and map approximately 70 kilometers of Cocoa River to be able to measure the erosion that had occurred since 2020. Once we were on the ground, we actually could see how bad the erosion zone was. It's a very mountainous terrain. We just can't launch anywhere. So we were actually having to fly the drones negative from where they were taking off from. Sometimes Mike would plan the mission on the laptop, he'd map out the area, and then I might launch the drone, recover the drone, or vice versa. We utilized those technologies to collect GeoInt imagery that we then processed into 2D and 3D images that we then provided to the government of Ecuador. We're gonna use that data to create predictive models to see how much time they have to address the regressive erosion. It also provides them better engineering models. So if we do this a second time, we can overlay that imagery and now estimate how much sediment has been eroded in that area. A lot went into it. The guys that went down to Ecuador to include our Warfare port and include Oak Ridge did a fantastic job. The fact that we were able to map 102 kilometers in eight days was unprecedented. There were regions of that river where we collected that they had no data and they couldn't have been happier with the support that they got. And the people there were just absolutely amazing and very accommodating. It was just a really good experience. Everybody was safe the entire time. Nobody got hurt and came all together nicely. Of course, there's river erosion happening a lot of places, but nothing where a 500-foot waterfall collapsed. We're not even seeing this that has happened years ago. So this is something fairly unique even on a geologic time scale. The collaboration between Oak Ridge and the NGA over the last three years built into the ability for us to go down there rapidly and effectively capture this much data, process it, and then expose it to the world. 